TikTok, an online short-form video sharing platform that has been downloaded over 2.6 billion times more than YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Currently, TikTok has close to 800 million active users, anywhere from 13 to 40 years old, most of which are between the age of 16 to 24, spending an average of 52 minutes per day on the app. The revenue for TikTok comes from ads and from gift coins. However, another platform is rising from China, which has the potential to be the biggest threat for TikTok, Kuai Xiao, with financial services such as BlackRock Inc., the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, Capital Group, the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board committed to buying stock in Kuai Xiao. This is the one to look at. In today's episode, we will discuss how Kuai Xiao could become the next player in short-form video. Kuai Xiao, which means fast hand, was launched by Su Hua, a former Google engineer who reportedly did not have access to electricity in his youth. His partner Cheng Yizhao served as a software engineer at HP and at Renren Inc. They launched the service in 2011, where users could create and share GIF pictures. Within a year, Kuai Xiao became a platform where users could record and share video. Kuai Xiao now has a community where people share their everyday lives. By 2013, the app had 100 million active daily users. Kuai Xiao became popular in the countryside where farmers would show their harvesting techniques. It is not clear whether or not it was meant for farmers, but once it caught on, they started to share every day. It has since become a platform where people show their dance moves, users play video games, they lip sync, perform magic tricks. Currently, they have 818 million users with 302 million daily active users, who spent more than 85 minutes on the app per day. The app looked promising. However, 2020 has been hard on everyone, including Kwai Shil. It reported a net loss of $1 billion. And this is where the story starts. In hopes of getting back on track, they are preparing themselves to go public. With investors looking to buy stock, Kwai Xiao plans to raise $6 billion in the coming days. It is said that this could be one of the world's biggest internet IPOs. Reportedly, Kwai Xiao has also hired Bank of America, China Renaissance and Morgan Stanley to work on the IPO. So, why exactly are financial services looking to buy Kwai Xiao stock? Well, Kwai Xiao became popular in Asia very quickly. When a Taiwanese magician, businessman Jay Chow did his first live stream, 68 million people saw him perform, and he ended up making $2.85 million in 30 minutes. Now, this is obviously because he is a well-known figure, but this goes to show you that people on Kwai Xiao are from all backgrounds. Kwai Xiao is generating revenue not just by sharing short videos, live streams, or marketing service, but also by other means. Creators can use live stream on the platform to market and promote products to viewers. This way, Kwai Xiao is introducing themselves to a market that is already rising day by day, e-commerce. With their gaming feature, they provide options for mobile games on their platform. Users can access games within the app or download them separately via app. And then there is the live or recorded knowledge sharing, where if the creator wishes, they can charge the viewer for their content. As of now, 68% of revenue comes from live streaming, but that may soon change. In a statement, the company said, We are actively developing additional monetization opportunities to diversify our revenue streams through online games, online knowledge sharing, and other products and services. You see, there are about 896 million users in China who have access to phone internet, but because of restriction on what they can or cannot see, it makes it hard for companies outside of China to make a decision on whether they should promote their products in China or not. But is that really important? Well, for one, Kwai Xiao will go global and the rules around it will change. But most importantly, China's export exceeds $2 trillion annually, and Kwai Xiao is committed to strengthening untapped resources in China, many of which reside in rural areas. And that is where Kwai Xiao is more popular than TikTok. A farmer ended up sharing his trucks that were getting ready to load up crops. A trader sitting thousands of miles away closely inspected the situation of the farmer's field for clues on supply, 
demand, and predicted the future of grain prices. In the short amount of time Kwaisho has existed, 19 million people have earned income from Kwaisho. What the future holds for the company is yet to be seen. But with their footprint in e-commerce, online knowledge and gaming, they have many more streams of revenue compared to their counterparts. And with investors from all over the world joining in, Kwaishao's future is worth looking forward to. Until next time, have a good one.